Hello everybody and welcome back to Boiler 1! Good to be back here. I, fi I finally got done with college finals for the semester, so now it's time to go back to the test facility. How are you guys doing today? Let me know in the comments. Strike up a good old conversation. I love talking with, every with all of y'all. I appreciate your views. I'm not gonna work with the uh, this. I'm not gonna work with the um, the special coaster yet today. I think what I'd like to do is finish up here. The old get our zip and pip and rebuild. So I know I've talked all about the voting poll and all, and I think I've reached a conclusion. Um, the conclusion being, well, I'm going to make two renditions of this coaster. One of them being the name with the name you voted on, which was Hunka Hunka Burnin' Steel. And the other for uh the other is going to be my idea, which was the Lambo Leap, and I'm going to alter their I'm going to alter the their layout so that they're slightly different. Now I need to stop tests. There now that's not making noise. So I'm gonna move this out back back out here for the time being. That way it's a bit better. And then we can retheme it so it looks nice. So, the difference between the Lambo Leap and Hunka Hunka Burning Steel is I want I want the Elvis themed one to actually contain a slow motion roll at the end right here. Because I think that would actually add a lot of thrills. And just keep the original the way it was. Why isn't this, why is this still testing? Hold on. That'll be kind of my next project because I, I want to try to make it sort of make a sort of dueling coaster uh, because that'll be because the practice with the dueling coaster and practice with the hybrid coaster model will bring me over to this next project I have. Uh, I think I'm going to divulge some of my plans right now. Uh, this is going to be I won't say too much about it now, but this is going to be. Uh, another retracking of another wooden coaster. It might be a bit, might be a bit controversial now, and I'm not. A, and but I'm going to re reconstruct the American Eagle at Six Flags Great America. I'll touch more on that once I actually get to the episode where I start doing that. But don't be alarmed. I'm only doing this for my own thing. I love the American Eagle, and I don't want to see it get re-steeled. I want to keep it as is, but. I don't even... I just want to make something new for my own plans. For my big plan later, which is to make a whole park. Uh, and I'll explain more about that later. But enough enough backstory. Let's, let's get to the end of this. So first thing I'm going to actually do... Well, I'm going to just... I'm going to run a test. And I'm just going to see what needs fixing. Love it. Oh, man. It's good to be back. I love this game. I love the coaster so much. I'm so excited for all the stuff I'm going to be able to do. And you guys are going to enjoy it with me. I love to hear it. This, this game's noisy, though. Hopefully, you guys can hear me okay. spot at the end I don't want to fix and in this I'll probably try to work and do some slow motion roll that'll be neat all right so that's pretty good uh, I think it does look nice so the one thing we gotta fix is right here uh, gonna zoom in and we're just gonna make this more level but then smooth it out a bit What? Okay, we're gonna un 
and do that. I have no idea how that happened. Whoops. Undo that. Hmm. So look okay, let's try it. Yeah, I got I got done with my uh my second uh, first semester of my second year of college and now I'm transferring so I'm gonna try to find a job and stuff. And I hope that everything will be okay, because I think I wanna study engineering and do stuff like this in real life. So I'm real excited to get to do that and I'll I'll talk more about that when I get to. But right now I'm just kind of in a it's, it's break. It's the holidays and I don't got much to do I guess. I'm glad I get I glad I get to spend some time with you guys and have some fun on here. Maybe for one of the models to make these airtime hills give them a little tilt to them. That would be fun. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make that much smoother, but I do like that. I think that looks fine. Now, uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get out of edit mode for a moment and we're just going to save this blueprint as is. Um, actually, no, we're not going to save it yet. First, we're going to color it. So I think this will be the uh, the Lambo leap model. So I'm going to just I'm going to do a bit of painting right now. And here's how I'm going to do it. So for the color, for, for this is going to be our uh, Green Bay Packer thing. For, for the footballs. Good old football. We got our Green Bay theme. So the track. Uh, I want it to be yellow, but I want it to be a bit more of a, yeah, like a nice kind of goldenrod yellow. Uh, hmm. I want it to be yellow for, yeah. Uh, I think I'll make that a bit more. Uh, I want it to be a bit more of a, I guess, orange is yellow. I guess is what you're looking for. All right, that'll do. Um, but then the 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 beam supports are going to be a dark green. Oh, that looks perfect. Look at that. That's so Packers. Yeah. And then, what's this color? This is the. This is the sort of subsidiary parts of the coaster, so the rails. And we're going to make that the same dark green, I think. So we're going to make it the same dark green. I actually think that looks better. Uh, is it just the glare? Or? No, I think it's fine. And then this last one is the wooden supports. Uh, I think that should be, that can be green, too. Uh, maybe I should just keep that the way it is. But I want that to like kind of just look like the stadium right here. And then for the outer part, I'll make it the other colors, like kind of swap the colors. So I'm going to go into edit mode so that I can uh, c color the track uh, piece, sort of piecemeal. Uh, where should it transition? I think right here is about, is about good. Yeah, perfect, right there. And then that'll become... You got to loop it all the way around. There, right there. And then we change the colors. So that'll become a green. And that'll become the yellow. Perfect. All right. And, and then we just need to customize the trains. So since it's since the outside looks kind of like a football thing, I think these are going to pa be painted like the football. American football, of course. Um, so I can't actually paint, repaint the trains because I used the, um, the Steel Vengeance train, which is like the actual, an actual coaster, so, from an actual roller coaster, so I actually can't. I can't actually change it, which is unfortunate.
unfortunate, but I think I'll still keep it like this. Uh, and I had to come up with a new way to go about the extra, the other one, but I think I got it. So, here we go. gonna do another test run so that you guys can see it now with the new colors I think it looks lovely though eh, maybe I can make the green a bit darker I don't know I think it's just the glare of the game cuz I know I don't have my game on the best so but yeah, that looks fine. I know I don't have my game on the best quality settings, and I kind of can't because if I do, then it'll lag, and if it lags, and I can't really make design a good coaster properly. So now we're outside the stadium. Alright, so that's pretty good. Uh, I think we're gonna save that. Alright, there we go. Now, we are going to make, maybe if we make, I think if we make a roll exit here, it'll actually work. Do we want an inline twist or an inline roll, or I think a uh, heartline roll? Oh, other way. If we widen it a bit, maybe. Mm, maybe if we widen the roll. It's just too low. I guess it won't work. So we're just gonna have to use a normal old track to build it up. What just happened? No. Alright. Game. Hmm. Well, we'll make that work. Anyway. That now rolls all as far as it can go. Uh, is that going to realign? That'll do nicely. Uh, it shouldn't turn quite as far. Is that too high? Is that gonna be too high? Let's do a quick test just to make just to make it work. I also changed the color of it too. Uh, originally what I wanted to do was make, for the hunk of hunk of burning steel type thing, I would make the, um, the zip and, like, use the, make the track into the original zip and pip and colors, and then make the train look like Elvis's belt buckles, like, belt thing, so, like, have a nice shiny gold and white and red, you know, you can Elvis-like, but it didn't really work, so I got a new idea, hopefully that'll work better. This is going to be changed. It's old Packer theme. 
So that'll be the other one. Okay, I do like how that goes so far. It does seem to roll very smoothly. Of course, we don't want it to crash. So, after then, gonna lower. Oh boy, they're still running. And... Okay. So now at least we roughly have what we need. And we're gonna make that... Lower. And this way smoother. All right, let's see how it works. That looks perfect, doesn't it? I think it looks really good. It's a nice slow looking roll, but it's still got a bit of thrill to it. Maybe we can stretch it and make it just a bit. Maybe if we can stretch it and make the whole roll just last a bit longer. I think if we just smooth, maybe, now I'm not sure how well this is gonna work, but I think if we just try to click to smooth everything, the whole roll will go longer. Let's give it a try. Yeah, kind of like that. Except I'm not sure if that's gonna run. Oh, okay, that doesn't look right at all. Um, Uh, actually, we're going to undo that, and that, and that, and that. Oh, wait, not all that. Right there. That's what we're going to undo. Let's give it a try. We're gonna use the. We're gonna use the. Nice between the rails cam. Zoom to it, I love it. Choppy. Um, hmm. right, I'm going to try lowering it all first, then giving it a smoothening, and see if that works better. Actually, we're going to get out of right camera just so we don't we can skip some of it. Here we go. Up the hill, down the hill, around the roll. Well, that looks better. Uh, it's just that, that ending transition we gotta fix. And I think it'll be pretty much good to go. What do you guys think? 
I think it looks neat. Also, let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas for coasters, because I'd love to hear your ideas. Uh, I'd love, I'd love to be able to chat with my fans and, well, fans, subscribers. I don't know if I'd call you fans yet. It's, it's more, I don't want, I want to be humble. But okay, we just kind of exploded that, but it still worked. I think that'd be cool, and the way it kind of very slowly banks back into the station. From there would be kind of neat too, but we are. I am going to yeah. maybe not include that entire track section <laughs> for the smoothening. Oh god, oh, all right. Well, we're gonna <laughs> oh boy. Uh, well, that's good. And now we get to repaint the entire thing. We're gonna do one quick speed test just so that we can get some test results for it that way we know its stats we know the older one was kind of okay according to the game but I still know it was really good and again we're not here for the game we're here for the coasters all right well the stats don't didn't seem to have changed much so we're gonna just stop that call it done and add some new new paint so, first, we are going to make the coaster the, uh, um, give it the color of the original Zip and Pippin. Well, original, the one in Green Bay, at least. I, I'd imagine it was probably the same as it always was, though. One thing we are going to change is just the Zero G stall. Oh, God, that blue does look bad. Um. Uh, The lovely zero G stall that gates over the track. That is going to be the Elvis coloring. Gold like a belt buckle. That does look really good. Uh, yeah. That, I think that looks pretty good. It's hard to work with these colors too, especially since my screen isn't all that great. But, I mean, I guess if I can like show you, maybe I'll put it in editing, just the, the colors of Zip and Pippin. There we go. But I think that's good as is now. Hunka hunka burn in steel. And that's it. Well everybody, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next in the next episode and hopefully hopefully I, we can have a lot more fun and we'll get down to business some of these all and i hope you guys have a, had a great time uh comment below any ideas you have i'd love to hear them uh and i'll see you in the next episode doot, doot.